Well, hello, and welcome behind the shower curtain at Bob HQ. I'm Mike, that's Will. Hello. And that's Max. Hello. 18 months ago, we set out on a mission to revolutionize the men's body wash industry and create the world's first hard refillable body wash. Whether you've been following us from day one or just pre-ordered yesterday, we love to share all of our progress behind the scenes. And so for today's video agenda, we wanted to give you an update on all of the progress we've made to date, to share with you some of the challenges that we've faced, and to share with you what we're doing ahead to get Bob into your hands. So in the last 18 months, we designed a new refillable product, we prototyped the product, and excitingly, we have moved to mass manufacturing our product. Yesterday, we received our first shower bag. The applicator, the soap refill box, and the shower mat. The majority of the time spent on the product was spent between phase two and phase three. This is when we were prototyping and engineering the product and putting it in a position to be able to mass manufacture it on a large scale. This was six months of work. So there's four components to the Bob applicator which has taken up most of our time. You have the lid and the handle clip, the applicator itself, which includes the wipe seal and bristles, and the ratchet. So Will, what challenges have we been trying to overcome in the last six months? There's five challenges. So challenge number one, making sure that the soap has the perfect moulded dimensions to fit perfectly into the applicator. That's all we want. Challenge number two is making sure that we're able to open and close via the clips of the product here to the product. Challenge number three was making sure that our ratchet system, which enables you to load the soap higher or lower, so you can deliver the amount of soap that you want. Challenge number four was the wiper seal, making sure that the soap didn't fall out and ensured that no water seeped through. Challenge number five the bristles, making sure there was soft touch on the body and a nice experience for any lathering on the body. Lovely. Okay, we all done? No. To cap it off, we had to make sure that the product was completely waterproof and watertight when you travel with it, which is why this lid had to seal every time. Good catch. Thank you. So Matt, give us an update on the Bob bars. So we finalised our formula. It is pH 5.5. It is good for your skin. It is good for the environment. We don't have to make sure that it fit into Bob applicator, which you've just seen, and it is snug, perfectly fits, does not fall out ever. And then we have to do lots and lots of testing. Now that's 10 showers a day, Mike's sensitive skin, making sure it's all good for us, all good for our skin types, and it doesn't go weird in the shower or bathroom, which it doesn't, which is great. To make sure that that is all true, we went through three months of stability testing to ensure that it was exactly what it says in the tin, does what it, does what it needs, and it will be good for you guys. Whoop. Whoop. So excitingly, we placed an order for 40,000 refill packs, which is 80,000 bars. $100,000 yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've given an update on the applicator and its challenges to date. We've given an update on the Bob bars and functions. To complete the Bob shower pack, we developed the shower mount. No more need for metal baskets or plastic tins. Stick it on the shower wall. That's good. <laughs> Really used it, and it's straight. So excitingly, we're in the final stages of mass manufacturing our products. We've just ordered 20,000 shower packs, which includes Bob applicator, shower mount, and Bob bar refills. And we've also ordered a further 20,000 Bob bar refills once you finish your first months of washing. So we have two final challenges with the applicator to overcome. The first, is the bristle shore hardness. Right now, they're just a little bit too hard for what we'd like them to be. In previous prototypes, they were a lot softer, so we're editing our tooling and manufacturing processes to make that work. And the other bit, if you just zoom in, Max, you can see the finish on the product is not exactly where we want it to be. So it's a first run of the product material, but it's a little bit slippy. And from the shower, we don't want that. We want it to be really, really grippy. The size and shape is absolutely perfect. The third part, once we get that all right, we'll be doing a couple of tests. We'll be testing the ratchet button to make sure it does over 5,000 clicks, which is the equivalent of two showers a day for five years. And the other test that we're doing at different heights is drop tests to make sure the product doesn't drop or explode when you're in your shower or out of your home as part of that. How did it drop? 
<laughs> we hope you like the update. We're super, super excited for the shower packs, the soap refills, we'll kind of hold them. The applicator's got a few final bits to be made, and then we'll be able to get them to you as soon as we possibly can. Excitingly as well, we're already in development for a scent code named The Morning Man. It smells quite citrusy, not quite there yet for next year. Scents to come. And we're also looking at creating the female version of Bob, Bobby. <laughs>